Look here, we've got some dirty C-Max. I think we better clean them. So, how are we going to clean these? Well, it's important to notice we've actually got two different kinds of C-Mac here. We've got the older version with the module that slides down into the gray handle and it's got its contacts in there. And we've got the new version that connects on top and has got a black handle. This is important to notice which one is which because this one is fully submersible and waterproof. This one, if it gets wet, is going to die and we're going to be very sad. So this one, when we take the module out, we need to protect these contacts. And fortunately, I have got the little protector cap and that's going to slide in there and protect the contacts. Aha! Now this is fully submersible. Incidentally, if I wanted to clean the module, the protector cap fits in there so the module is cleanable. And if I need to rinse off the cable, the other end fits in there. So it's completely protected and submersible. Right? But we don't need to clean that now because it's not really that dirty. The introducer, of course, can go in the water. So, step one, scrub. Let's get some fresh water going. Let's get a sponge. Let's get some soap. And we're going to clean them. Paying special attention to making sure, as you'll see, I'm using the soft part of the sponge so we're not scratching anything. Get rid of that. Making sure that there's nothing stuck in the grooves and there's no particulate matter, blood, saliva, or anything else on here. If there's any particulate matter on it, then the sterilization solution is not going to work. Right, give that a good wash. Give this a good wash. And you'll notice when the protective cap is on, it's submersible, it's safe, it can go in the water. Right? Again, the grey blades need the protective cap. The newer black handled blades don't need a cap. You can get water right in there. Okay, let's clean this off. Now, there's my juicer, there it is. How do you know that you've cleaned it enough, that you've washed it well enough? Well, when you are prepared to lick the blade, then it is clean enough. If you're not prepared to lick the blade, the blade is not clean enough. All right, clean it some more. Good. Now that that's done and I've cleaned all the particulate matter off, just shake the water off and we're going to go put them in some Sidex. If you're working around the emergency theater, excuse me, Mrs. Patient, sorry to disturb you. If you're working around emergency theater, we've got some Sidex over here. Emergency and as I said, theater. the black blade is in fully submersible. When the cap is on, these gray handled blades are also fully submersible. We can leave them sticking out a bit if you like, but the blade itself must be under. Mm. Now that needs at least 15 minutes, right? When it's been sitting in there for 15 minutes, we're going to take it out. Would you like to lick some Sidex? The answer is no. So we're going to rinse it off under warning water. You want to make sure that there's no Sidex in the contacts. And when that is done, just going to towel them dry and replace them on the cart. That's how it's done.